Okay, some things to talk about. We'll start with the dirt on the west side of town on I-84 West. Uh, had a few drops when we went to break, but now you can see the streets are getting wet uh, as the rain is moving across that area. Really, from this area back to the northwest is where that severe thunderstorm warning is in effect. Appreciate that, Travis. Here's right in this vicinity. You pop up here. You can see it's northeastern Geneva County, southern Dale, uh, Dale County, and extreme northwestern Houston County clipping the northern part of Dothan with the heavy rain. It's this little cell right there between Ozark and Dothan that has created the severe thunderstorm warning, and that will continue to move into also southwestern Henry County. Now, it goes until 630, but it's moving pretty quickly at 30 miles an hour, so it would be pretty much into south central Henry County by 6 o'clock, so they either have to extend that severe thunderstorm warning into Georgia or cancel it because it's going to be out of the warning area pretty fast. When we look at the southeast, we've had about three waves of rain move across. This is number three for today. There's some more activity back around Meridian. That may come across during the evening hours. Still waiting to see if anything's going to develop back in this area in northern Mississippi uh, because this area is getting really stable with all the showers and thunderstorms, but we still expect an area of thunderstorms to move through tomorrow morning, uh, especially off to the west and north of Dothan, but we should be in them and also will clip southwestern Georgia. They will come through probably around 4 in the morning to about 8 in the morning. I think the rest of Monday will be pretty quiet, even sun probably back, popping back out, but then late Monday afternoon, we could see another round of showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures got up to around 89 for Dothan today. See 70s back to the west with the clouds and rain. Uh, no difference there. And also now the heat is building out west. Okay, that's not unusual. You've heard Phoenix that's had about 9 or 10 days at or above 110. Well, their normal high is 107. Uh, quite often they have their high heat in late April and May. Get, and they may have a couple of days near 120. When that happens, actually the air thins out so much from the hot air, they actually have to postpone or cancel flights because planes have trouble lifting in that really hot air when it's around 120, and we'll see if that happens. Otherwise, with that high pressure sitting out here for about a week, week and a half, and a big area of low pressure up in the northeast, it's gonna funnel everything down toward us, and we should have decent chances of rain, but we may dry out a little bit the middle of this week. Severe weather threat, there's a marginal threat, that's the green, until seven tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow from seven in the morning to seven Tuesday morning, you can see we're on the northern edge of it, and we're kinda out of it on Wednesday, so I think Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are gonna be fairly dry days. So look for those evening thunderstorms this evening, 30% chance, and 80% chance tomorrow morning, about a 50% chance tomorrow afternoon, and then as we get into Tuesday, Thursday, about a 30% chance, and maybe not even that, Trends back up though, 40, 50, even a 60% chance for Friday and Saturday. And the next, the last two weeks in July may trend hotter, but we don't know about that and we don't know about the rain chances. The hot, really hot air will stay to the west of us. So we talked about the desert southwestern heat already, and still the models in the tropics are showing no name systems likely before mid August for the Gulf or the Caribbean, but also in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific, there will be some activity. You see this yellow area off to the upper left right of your screen? That will stay out in the Atlantic if it develops in about five, six days. All right, here's what we're looking at as far as the national view. We've already talked about most of the activity. And as far as the southeast, and again in our area, we have that severe thunderstorm warning until 630. Includes those areas right there in the box, just north of Dothan, including parts of southern Dale, southwestern Henry, and northeastern Geneva. And as far as the rip currents, a big problem again today, possibly in tomorrow. High risk, be aware of that. Good thunderstorm chances down there tomorrow, 72 for a low. And there's extended forecast showing maybe a dry Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.